This is Eric Hedin, a professor of physics. In his study of cosmology, he became aware of something mysterious in nature. And he shared these findings with the students in one of his courses. But an atheist at another university got wind of this and launched a campaign to shut the course down. Hadeen was soon embroiled in a controversy that made national headlines. What about the course was so controversial? Eric Hadeen's research at Ball State University focused on nanoelectronics and theories of higher dimensions. Over time, he had become aware of several studies indicating how finely tuned the laws of nature appear to be to allow for stars, planets, and life. He was astonished by the universe's harmony where the precise values of the fundamental forces like gravity and electromagnetism seemed to teeter on a knife edge as if they were arranged to facilitate life. This sparked a question. Is there a deeper link between the cosmos and life on Earth? One governed by a higher intelligence? Eventually, Hadeen approached the Dean of the Honors College to approve a new interdisciplinary honors course. The course would teach some of the basics of astronomy and ask, what is science? And can science shed any light on our deepest questions about the universe? The course aligned well with the university's guidelines, which emphasized academic freedom. It was approved and named the Boundaries of Science. The course was highly successful. A key question the class grappled with was the fine-tuning of the universe dumb luck or the work of intelligent design? Hadeen didn't force an answer on his students. Instead, he let them grapple with the question and the evidence. The students loved it. Often they would linger after class to continue the conversations. Hadeen particularly remembers two atheists who enjoyed following him across campus to continue the discussions. But one day, a professor from another institution with no ties to Hadeen's university caught wind of the proceedings. The professor and blogger, Jerry Coyne, was a well-known atheist. Coyne sent a letter of complaint to the university, igniting a broader conflict that quickly spread to the internet. Hadeen was soon under attack from zealous atheists. An email from one of them read, You should be ashamed of yourself pushing that nonsense onto young, impressionable minds. The controversy spilled over into the local newspaper and before long made national headlines. The university's administration quickly succumbed to the pressure. Hadeen's course was canceled. In his later book, Cancelled Science, Hadeen explains that his intention for the course wasn't to promote any religion. But he also didn't want to suppress discussions where scientific evidence seemed to have religious implications. His course material was based on mainstream science, yet his course was shut down. Hadeen is not the first academic to be canceled. There are many similar examples. We can wonder whether many universities are as committed to academic freedom as they claim. Allowing students to learn about scientific evidence that seems to conflict with atheism might suggest to students a divine creator. In Cancelled Science, Hedin asks, so does teaching that scientific evidence equate with teaching religion in a science course? Is censorship the preferred option? What evidence was he referring to? In Cancelled Science, Hedin explores that evidence and poses thought-provoking questions gleaned from his Boundaries of Science course. For instance, how does the delicate balance of forces within stars relate to life on Earth? 
And why must this balance occasionally be disrupted? What does heat have in common with information theory? And how might this link suggest design? What might our natural ability to perceive beauty in the universe reveal about the structure of reality? You can learn more about these and other fascinating questions at the intersection of science and faith in Cancelled Science. Get your copy now.